Today, July the 14th, 2014, we're in uh, Water's Edge. This is a little uh, kind of typical North Carolina uh, RV place. Been here a few days. My brother has a place here, Steve and Joan, his wife. Uh, we're going to change locations and go to a national park here about five, eight miles away. This was $45 a night. The national park is $14.50 a night, which makes it more attractive to me. We'll be there a couple nights. Then we're going to work our way back to Savannah, hopefully for the last time in a while, and uh, get a renter in our house, I hope, or check it out. So we're on the, uh, hold on, I'm going to go down to, a, to the intercoastal and show you what we got. Road down, uh, we're still in that park. It's, uh, and by the way, we're in, uh, just west of Bogue, uh, North Carolina, Newport, uh, Swansboro. There's the park, but this is the intercoastal, and this is July the 14th, and uh, there goes the law. <laughs> Can't get me over here. And that's the intercoastal right there. What's weird about this place to me, it's hard to get located, is you right on the other side of that strip over there is the Atlantic Ocean. And you'd think you'd be looking east, but you're not. You're looking south. So I'm trying to get that in my mind. But last April, we were chugging right up there, headed to uh, back to Savannah the long way. There goes a trawler going towards Savannah. But I guess he's going west. That doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, uh, we'd been about five or 600 miles time we got here, maybe not quite that far, and only had 5,500 miles to go long stretch from here but we're gonna leave here as I said uh, and go back work back to Savannah and try to deal with our house but it's been a nice little stay we're going to that National Park in a minute but I just wanted to keep you posted. Croatan C-R-O-A-T-A-N I think uh, National Forest uh, right out of Swansboro we moved over here yesterday they're getting ready to shut this down you can only stay two nights because they're gonna renovate this campground but uh we're gonna leave here in just a minute uh and go to uh, cape lookout uh, I, th I think you can get there from here i'm not sure jenny's got it planned out but we're going up to uh harker's island and then catch a ferry i think and go to cape lookout yesterday i made a mistake i said we went up the intercoastal last april actually it was a year ago april april of 19 of uh, 2013 so anyway i'll uh shoot a little video up around the lighthouse hopefully see you later. tip of Harker's Island down here at the visitor center we were gonna ride the ferry I hope you can hear me there's a lot of wind noise there's a visitor center uh, we were gonna ride over to uh, Cape Lookout but I don't think so it's mighty rough and mighty windy and that's a lot of sugar for a nickel but we're about 45 miles from uh, Bogue and Swansboro up there Quite a bit of activity here, but not on a normal day. Short little clip right here. This is a place called White Lake. It's in the near, what's this close to? Elizabethtown, North Carolina. And this is, I think, Redneck Haven. Maybe I shouldn't say that, I might get beat up. But there are uh, 1,100 permanent spots in here and a hundred overnight spots. And it's, it's, it's around a place called White Lake, which is a natural lake, a big lake probably. Well, you can see it on the global Google Maps. But anyway, uh, we had to spend the night here last night because it's the only place within miles uh, where you can get a place. So we're getting ready to hook up, leave here, and go to Santee. Today is uh, July 18th. Very, very interesting. Lots of people. And I think there are golf carts all over the place. And I think you have to be five or six years old to uh, captain one of them. Waste too much video time here. But there's the lake right there. It's a big lake. A lot of pontoon boats and skiing and so forth. But it is country. Which is nice. These are some of the permanent residents here. They have 1,100 of them. That's all the video time I'm allowed to put on White Lake. Good afternoon, July the 19th. 
we've worked our way back from the coast of North Carolina. We're at Magnolia State Park in uh, just out of Millen, Georgia. And this is one of the nicest parks we've seen so far. It's kind of small for the campers, but we're headed back to Savannah to take care of some business. Our tenant in our house moved out. He had to relocate through no fault of his own. Um, but we kind of ease back this way and we're going into Savannah tomorrow and go take care of the house and I'm sure he did too and uh, just get it ready to try to rent it again. So if any of you know of uh, somebody looking for a rental house, uh, we're uh, on the east side of, uh, west side of town over there by Southbridge, let me know. It's July the 28th. We've been in Savannah for a week or so. The, my uh, folks, my renters moved out and it's just throwing us a knuckleball that hit me right between the eyes. It certainly is a game changer. But anyway, we're just heading out now. Nothing we can do. Um, getting ready to head up the coast and going to, uh, there it is right out there. We got a lot of glare on us. Uh, all hooked up, ready to ride. Just wanted to check one more thing here before we left. Uh, we're we're going to head up to Maine. Uh, going to up South Carolina today about 80 or 90 miles and just kind of crawl up the coast. But I'm going to start these hideous videos back again and keep you informed on where we're going and what we see. We uh, should see some pretty interesting stuff. So just wanted to bring you up to date. Let me get over here getting the glare one time there's a full shot there she is right there getting ready to rock start getting hate mail i'm going to record the stops that we make we rode about 100 miles from savannah today uh, we're at colleton state park and this is the edisto river which probably i 70 80 miles from uh, uh the ocean in edisto island i'll show you the little where we uh oh she fell out uh, but anyway, I don't know how, what highway this is, but this is the Edisto River. Just came in here to cool off because it's hot as rip. July the 29th, 2014, my birthday. Happy birthday. Send contributions to BR549. Last year at this time, we were in uh, Thessalon, Canada, getting ready to head south back into the United States, coming into Drummond Island. There we are, parked right there, getting ready to leave in a little while. This is a Colleton State Park. We're about eight or ten miles north of Walterboro, South Carolina, on the Edisto River. Uh, nice, quiet little campground. We're going to leave here in a little bit and slide up to Santee, about 50, 60 miles. We're just working our way up north to, we're going into Maine, and then we're going to go into Canada for a little bit and uh, head back south in the when it gets too cold. Anyway, that's it for now. This video up, we're at Shiraz, South Carolina, Shiraz State Park. And we're right over there to the right of that white patch. That's a parking lot. We're, our, we're stationed right over there in that clump in the park. This is a, a beautiful scene. This is uh, Lake Juniper. And they did that by damming up Juniper Creek. But anyway, I'm going to get this out. Not too exciting. We're headed north. We kind of got off the 95 corridor and we're going to go a little west of north and uh, head on up to Maine. But we'll work our way up there. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful scenery here at Shiraz, South Carolina. There's a golf course right over there. This is just gorgeous. Quick little scene. This is, uh, here we are. I just shot that thing on Juniper Lake. I was right across the lake there. But Today's August the 1st, my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Renee. Uh, but we got this thing perched up on this hill. That's where they told us to come. And a little bit freaky because I got air under, I mean, space under that front tire. But uh, we're leveled up there, but this is it. It's just, uh, we, we, Jenny drives it, and I get behind her and in front of her, whatever, and direct her. And uh, she puts it where we need it. Works well. That way if anything happens, I can blame her.